Holy cow, I got invited to go to this multi-day Memorial Day orgy, but I said no. No, I said no. I decided to make another Portal 2 tutorial. So, here we are. This is very easy. Uh, you got your deals here. You got your little guy. You can step on the button. Turns it off. Does a little animation. Step it off. Turns it back on. And then let's see. We got our guys. Goes through, and they're dead. Cool. Let's do it. Hopefully this tutorial is finally shorter than... Uh, then uh, 15 minutes because this is a pretty easy thing so first I want to pick a texture that I can lay a uh, lay a portal on so if you guys know pick one I'm just gonna pick one of those white things okay gonna make it pretty narrow and then make it hollow Where the hell is it? extend it make it a little wider okay looking good so first give it a little player start point and then I'm gonna give it a light because lights are pretty all right and now I want to pick a texture that you cannot lay a uh, portal on and then I'm gonna make that little passageway that you saw before all right Looks good. And copy and paste that bad dog. Okay, that looks good. And then now we want to go and add our props on the side. And if you're unfamiliar with prop dynamics, I have a previous tutorial on um, on moving uh, moving panels. Go and check that out because that'll clear up anything that I'm doing right now that might be confusing. Uh, so let's just name it Frizzler Side One. And Entity Scripts Damage Filter. Now I've already gone in and uh, and found which one I'm going to use. So I'll just I'll open up my little models thing if you've never used it it's the model viewer and then I went into load model and then it'll just pump you out into the root where you want to go on props and then you just want to scroll down and there's two frizzlers there is frizzler and frizzler dynamic that's one I picked and we have these four animations you have your close animation and then you have your open animation looks great so idle is the one I want because I want it to start on so it's uh, going to be Fizzler Dynamic. So i got to go to World Model, and I typed in Fizzler, Fizzler Dynamic. Great. Apply, and then I want to go down to my default animation. Type in Idle, because that is the animation I want it to stick on. And then, of course, I want to go to Start. Oops. I want to go to Hold Animation and put Yes. Cool. So let's uh, put it where it needs to be. And let's flip that around. Let's flip it around correctly. Ah. Okay, that's pretty much on the wall. Yeah, and then I'm going to copy and paste that mofo and flip this one around on the other side. And then I'll move that over to the other side. Right over on that wall. Let's make it a little bit, whoops, a little bit closer. Great. Are those both in the same? Yep, they are in the same plane. Fantastic. And then let's make the ceiling a little bit shorter or a little bit lower so it fits perfectly. Great. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to make a uh, a no draw texture that takes up that whole area. So do a no draw, and then just this right there. Something like that. Hmm. That's a little far on both of them. What's wrong one? That was uh, this one. Well, you know what makes it a lot easier is to choose your fizzler texture. 
There's a bunch of them. They all have like sort of different properties. You can pick whichever one you want. I will just pick this one. All right. And then go over here. If you have it selected and you hit apply current texture, it should apply the new texture on it. And now I'm going to fit it because it's a lot more easy to do it now. So this one needs to be moved back one. And I think I did it to the wrong one. I did. I always get this perspective backwards, you know. Okay, great. And I think it is perfectly wide. I think it can be a half a step. I think it can be that. Okay, great. So then go in, uh, now that you have that, then do, then double click on it. Actually, I meant Control T. Control T it, so highlight and Control T it. And what you want to choose is trigger underscore portal cleanser. That's it. So, I mean, you don't need to do anything else. You, you didn't even need to do the model viewer. You could have just picked the, uh, the, the, you could have gone in and picked the fizzler. And then that's it. And then it's going to work. If you walk through it, then it's going to shut down portals. That's all. But I'm going to do a little bit more because that would be so short. And I want it to be worth my while to sit down and make this. So then I'm going to make a floor button, like you saw. And i got to move that into a sweet spot. What the hell? I'm having issues. Serious issues. Okay. Right there looks good. And I forgot to rename this one to Prop Fizzler Side 2. Apply. And then also want to go to this guy. And I want to name him. And I'll just name him Fizzler. Great. So now let's set the triggers onto this. And then obviously you do Output. Add on Pressed. And then do Fizzler. And then do Disable. And I'm going to give it a wait time of 0.25 seconds. And then I'm going to add on Pressed. And then I'm going to do Fizzler Side 1. And then Set Animation. And my animation is closed. Cool. And I'm going to give that a wait time of... Uh, it's going to turn off and... Uh, yeah, let's give it a second. Why not? And then we'll do the, we'll do the opposite when we do the other side when we do the opening. So set animation, copy, paste, go to this guy, rename that to 2, fantastic. And now let's turn it back on, so on, uh, whoops, on unpressed, you want to go to Fizzler, and you want to do enable. And let's give that a wait time of a second this time, because this time we want to open it on unpressed, Fizzler side 1, set animation, I believe it's just called open. And it is. And then it's going to open up. And let's make that one wait 0.25 seconds. Cool. I think that'll look good. Paste that. Fizzler side 2. Apply. Okay. And, oh, I should do the portal gun so we can show that it works. Portal gun. And maybe I should get it out of the floor. That'd probably be nice. Cool. Let's test it out. Yeah, it was a uh, that one. That one. That one's pretty easy. That one was uh, pretty easy. I'm thinking of learning faith plates next. Uh, yeah. If anybody has anything, who's you're like, hey, do this. Just throw up a comment. Um, and if it's not in cra you know, crazy difficult, I should be able to figure out pretty soon. Oops. Huh. I know what I did wrong. I know what's wrong. I feel like that's once every tutorial now. I do one thing wrong, but hey, that's how that's how doing this bullshit works, isn't it? Visible, yes. Apply. Cool. Try that again. Eventually I'm gonna learn elevators. Eventually. That's just, you know. All the documentation on that is just looks like a pain in the ass. Okay. Looks good. Boom, boom. Step on it. Turns it off, and then it moves the thing. And then step on it again. Moves the things. Turns it on. Looks pretty. And then we go through it, and it turns off. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Um, I'm gonna turn this off if I can ever... I'll just do it now. Alright, there we go.